Why does Ait Puri puff up? Author Varsha Joshi Illustrator Sonal Gupta Viswani Aditi and Arab Love Puris Halwa Puri, Kheer Puri and Shrikhand Puri Yummy Chol Puri or Alu Puri Finger licking good Puris are tasty, whatever you may eat them with The smell of Puris frying Oh, so wonderful The sight of Puris swimming in hot oil One look at golden, crispy Hot, puffed puris and aditi and arab rush to get the roundest and the most puffed ones. But how does the puri puff? Is there air inside? Who fills the puri with air? Aditi and arab blow air into balloons to make them puff up. Pa uses a pump to fill air in the tire of his bicycle. But Ma doesn't seem to use any of these methods to puff the puri. She just fries them and they puff. Amazing. Aditi and Arab decide to observe, ask questions and find answers the next time puris are made at home. Pa has put some whole wheat flour in a big dish. He adds a little oil and some salt and starts mixing water into the flour. How come the flour is absorbing the water readily? Well, the reason is, something in the wheat flour is very thirsty. When you are thirsty what do you do? You drink water. Gliden and glutenin are the two types of proteins in the wheat. Proteins and all other chemical substances are made up of tiny units called molecules. The molecules in these proteins are very thirsty. As soon as water is put in the flour, these molecules drink it. Then they become big and fat. They expand. Naturally, they don't have enough space to sit comfortably. So they touch and push each other. They actually stick to each other. Sometimes, you hold each other's hand and make a chain while playing. The whole chain then moves about. Similarly, these molecules stick together and form a network. Pa has made dough out of the flour. He asks Ma to knead the dough some more. She smears some oil on her palm and starts kneading. You need strong hands to knead the dough. She says if the dough is not kneaded the puris won't puff. How are these two related? Here is the secret. When you knead the dough, the molecules that are stuck to each other now start stretching. When this stretching is complete, a new protein is formed. It is called gluten. Gluten is elastic like a rubber band, and we can give any shape to that dough. Ma has left the dough aside for some time. She is now preparing the kheer. Aditi and Arab decide to come back when she starts rolling the puris. Now Ma and Pa are ready. Ma has poured oil in the frying pan and has put it on the stove. She pinches off a small amount of dough and rolls it into a puri. Pa slides the puri into the hot oil. In minutes, the puri has puffed. How did that happen? Here is what happens to the puri. The rolling is possible due to the gluten in the dough. When the small piece of dough is rolled, a gluten sheet is formed in the puri. When the puri is put in the hot oil, its lower surface becomes very hot due to the oil. Do you remember that water was used for making the dough? So, due to the high temperature, the water in the puri turns into steam. This steam is very powerful, and it lifts up the sheet of gluten. And that is why the puri puffs. Pa now turns the puri, 
so that the other surface also turns golden. He has taken the puri out of the pan and kept it in a dish. Now with the help of a fork let us make a hole in a puri. See the steam oozing out? So the puffed puri doesn't contain air. It has steam in it, right? Why are the puris used for bell puri, alu dahi puri not puffed? There could be three reasons. If the puri is rolled very thin the steam formed is not sufficient for the pressure to build up so that the puri can puff dot. Sometimes after the puris are rolled, thin holes are made in them with a fork so that while frying, whatever steam is created, it comes out of the holes and does not let the puri puff. Such flat puris can be used for longer. Also if puris are fried at low temperatures, steam forms very slowly, pressure does not build up, and the puri does not puff. Now you know why some puris puff up, and why some puris don't. Experiment to get gluten from wheat flour Make dough using wheat flour and water. Use only adequate amount of water, so that the dough would not be too hard or too soft. Use the lower portion of the palm and knead the dough for few minutes. If necessary, little oil can be used so that the dough does not stick to your palm. Leave the dough covered for about 10 minutes. Now take a big bowl and put the dough in it after kneading it for few minutes again. Puri facts from history according to scientists, wild wheat originated first in Middle East countries about 11,000 years ago. According to the world's first encyclopedia Apalachitur Chintamani or Manasalas written in 12th century by King Sumshwar, something similar to Puri was made at that time, but was called as Pahalika. So Puri is at least 800 years old. Excavation done near Damascus in Syria, revealed wheat dated back 9,000 years. Tools necessary for planting and harvesting wheat plants and also for grinding wheat, were found at the same site. Can you find out? Can puris be made from jowar, bajra or rice flour? Why? Apart from puris, what are the other things we make using wheat flour? What happens if you put too much water in the flour? What happens when you use other methods of cooking flour such as in a tandoor or on a tawa?